Hello, everybody. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch with some really cool news, actually. Uh, NVIDIA just announced Physics 4.0. Uh, it's coming out very, very soon, but perhaps most importantly, Physics 4.0 is also being released under the BSD3 open source license. So, yes, probably, I think I'm safe to say this, the most popular physics engine is now actually coming open source. Now, it's joining a couple of other open source engines, such as Bullet and ODE, uh, but again, I think Physics is the biggest dog in this particular ring right now. Now, there used to be Havoc, uh, then Intel bought them, and who knows what the hell's going on with Havoc now. And then now there's Physics, and Physics is kind of a big deal. It is integrated into Unreal Engine, into Unity, into the Hero Engine, into... Uh Ogre, I believe, various other different game engines have been used in hundreds, if not thousands of games, and this is what propels the physics calculations in a lot of your games. Um, so, let's jump right in and take a look at the announcements. Now, there is an asterisk, there is always an asterisk, and we will get to that asterisk in a second. That license is got a little bit of a complication, but for 99% of you guys, it's not going to matter. So, what we can see here is NVIDIA is proud to announce that Physics 4.0 available on December 20th, so not quite here as of yet. Uh, the engine has been upgraded to provide industrial grade simulation quality at game simulation performance, basically so they're saying higher fidelity, but still real-time performance. Uh, in addition, Physics SDK has gone open source starting with, oh, today. Uh, so actually, version 3.4 is now officially BSD3, and the 4.0 release coming in December 20th will be as well. Uh, as you can see, available under three clause BSD license. This uh, access to the source code developers can debug, customize, and extend the physics SDK as they see fit. And then, of course, we got some new features in Physics 4 when it ships in a couple of weeks, including Temporal Gauss Seidel Solver TGS, which makes machinery, character ragdolls, and anything else that is jointed or articulated much more robust. TGS dynamically recomputes constraints with each iteration based on body's relative motion. Overall stability improvements, uh, increased uh, scalability via new filtering rules for kinematics and statics, new bounding volume hierarchy supporting fast scene queries for actors with a huge number of shapes. Infrastructure can now incorporate make projects. Uh, BS3 now, here's the asterisk that I was mentioning earlier. So it is now open source, BSD3 licensed on Apple iOS, Apple Mac OS, Google Android, Linux, and Windows. So basically all of the desktop and mobile platforms now have physics um, basically open source under the BSD3 license. However, the proprietary platforms, the, micro, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch are still under the unchanged NVIDIA EULA platform. So what is the ramifications of that split license if you are developing a console game? I don't know. I, I actually, I don't know what the NVIDIA ELU, EULA license actually stipulates for those pl platforms. And generally when it comes to deploying on a console, you're in a different world anyways. You've got license agreements directly with the platform manufacturer. So that's probably why it can't just be straight out uh, BSD3. But do be aware, if you are targeting those particular platforms, uh, it's not necessarily BSD3 on those platforms. But you do have full access to said source code, and if you've ever wanted to jump behind the scenes and take a look at a physics engine, and for some reason ODE or Bullet didn't do it for you, well, there is now a third player on the market. And I'm actually going to be kind of curious to see uh, the BSD3 license would actually enable those other open source projects, plus game engines that rolled their own proprietary solutions, such as uh, Godot Engine, to actually take bits from NVIDIA's physics implementation. And the NVIDIA part of that is a little bit misleading, by the way. So this is a physics engine for everything, not just NVIDIA products. It was actually uh, originally created by another company that created their own uh, they called it a PPU but it was kind of like a GPU for physics specifically and then uh and then the NVIDIA bought them, rolled it on into their own product line, and obviously made it work with their GPUs. But uh, physics can work on non-NVIDIA products. So do be aware, like if you're an AMD world, this isn't completely useless news to you. So if you are interested, you can go ahead and download the Physics SDK 3.4 there. Uh, it is available over on GitHub. Uh, we will take a look over there. So as you can see, it is up there. It was just updated yesterday. Um, and you can also get into, I believe the NVIDIA e EULA is actually linked here somewhere. So if you are actually developing for con uh, consoles and you need to know a little bit more about that, I think you can get that link here. Otherwise, you can go to, I believe it's developer.nvidia.com. Again, it's not going to affect 90% of people unless you're you know, actually actively developing for consoles. That shouldn't be an issue for you. So some pretty cool news. I I'm not sure that this is going to affect a lot of people at the... Um, you know, trenches level because this is the kind of stuff that is generally implemented in the game engines. But where the real big winners on this one, as I mentioned, could end up being is engines like 
Godot that don't, uh, you know, actually use NVIDIA physics, but now do that open source license, either they can use it or they can borrow code from it and not be in violation of the license. So you might actually start seeing better physics in other engines that aren't necessarily using uh, the physics engine. Also, you can also see improvements and tweaks and changes being implemented by the various different uh, people actually using it. So kind of a big deal, kind of a cool move. Also, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Physics uh, 4.0 is coming on December the 20th with a plethora of new features as well. Uh, so great news all around. So if you're into the physics world, yeah, you know, NVIDIA just did something really cool. And I got to admit, more and more and more things are going open source. It's amazing the world we live in as game developers these days that you're getting professional grade physics products uh, free and open source. It's kind of cool to see. All right, let me know. What do you think in the comments down below? Are you using physics or are you using something else such as ODE or Bullet or I suppose Godot? Uh, you know, are, are you maybe thinking about checking out physics now due to the fact that this is under an open source license? Interesting to hear your comments. Let me know down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.